Welcome to our tech troubleshooting video. Today, we're tackling a frustrating issue that many users encounter with Bash on Ubuntu on Windows. Our viewer recently experienced a problem where Bash simply stopped starting after a forced closure. Let's dive into the details of this situation and see how we can help. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we'll be going through your questions, answering them, and hopefully finding that solution you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully you'll find that solution you're looking for. Now, let's continue on to the video. If you're experiencing issues with Bash on Ubuntu on Windows not starting, the first step is to understand what might have caused the problem. In this case, it seems that terminating Bash unexpectedly led to the issue. To troubleshoot, you can try running Bash from PowerShell. If it doesn't start and you see no error messages, this indicates a deeper issue with the installation. One common solution for this issue is to uninstall and then reinstall Bash. You can do this using the LX run command. First, uninstall Bash completely. After uninstalling, you can reinstall Bash by running the following command. This should restore functionality. Finally, after reinstalling, try launching Bash again. This should resolve the issue and get you back to using Bash on Ubuntu on Windows. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. If you're having trouble starting Bash on Ubuntu on Windows, try disabling fast startup in your power settings. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. If Bash on Ubuntu on Windows isn't starting, try doing a full reboot. This can help resolve the issue caused by Windows 10's Fast Boot feature. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. If Bash on Ubuntu isn't starting on Windows, you may need to install a Linux distribution. First, enable the Windows subsystem for Linux feature in PowerShell. After enabling WSL, restart your computer if prompted then download the Ubuntu app package using PowerShell. Finally, execute the downloaded Ubuntu app package and enjoy using Bash on Windows again. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. If you're having trouble starting Bash on Ubuntu on Windows, here's a quick fix that worked for me. First, restart your computer by holding down the Shift key and clicking Restart. Next, you'll see Recovery Options. Just click on Continue to Windows to boot up normally.
Once your PC is back up, open the terminal by searching for Ubuntu and hitting enter. The terminal opens but seems unresponsive, don't worry. Just press Ctrl-C or Ctrl-Z to resolve the issue. And that's it. Your bash on Ubuntu should be working again. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. The user faced issues with Bash on Ubuntu not starting. They tried uninstalling it using PowerShell, but encountered an error. They then reinstalled Ubuntu from the Microsoft Store. During the installation, they created a new Unix user account and set a password. However, they noted that none of their previous shortcuts or installations were transferred. After installation, they attempted to run commands in Bash, but found that some programs, like Node.js, were not installed. They were able to run Bash successfully, though. And that's it, guys. I hope that's found the answer that you were looking for and you got through to that solution. If you did, please hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. And until the next time, if you have a technical issue, I'll see you. Have a good one. Let's <laughs> go.